there creators, Neof here, and uh, this week I have some, another sewing video for you. And well, it's more of an embroidery video, and uh, basically what I'm doing, I have a whole bunch of blank shirts for both my girls. Um, this week's video is just going to be the shirts that I embroider for Bridget. Um, but you know, I've already started uh, this one shirt here. Um, these are just blank Fruit of the Loom shirts. Um, it, I've already started one of the embroideries on this shirt. This is actually going to be a lot of embroideries because um, it's three embroideries, but technically I think it's um, seven embroideries uh, because what I did here, uh, these are actually two separate uh, designs. It's these octopus tentacles and I did that twice so you can see that it is overlapping and I don't mind that look. Um, I just kept the overlapping look. And then a third design here which was the uh, cat mermaid that Bridget picked out. Um, so uh, I went into my program called Embird and I um, connected the two designs and then uh, overlaid the third design on top. So basically what it did was it did the whole uh, two designs here and then it uh, embroidered th this design on top. So there is, uh, th this tentacle here is still underneath uh, this uh, cat. You just don't see it, the cat mermaid. So uh, this uh, embroidery is actually gonna be pretty fun because on the back side is gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be the two uh, the octopus tentacles and it's going, to, instead of the cat uh, mermaid on the back side, it's going to have a yellow submarine. Um, and so, uh, as you know, Bridget absolutely loves the Beatles, so uh, this is going to be a Beatles-themed shirt. So that's what will be on the back, is the octopus and the yellow submarine. Now, uh, to tie in, you know, to secure that this is a Beatles-themed shirt, um, I also did some lettering that's going to go up here, and it will basically say, uh, it'll basically say, uh, I'd like to be in an octopus's garden in the shade. And so uh, it's kind of going off, octopus's garden of course is a Beatles song, and then we'll have that yellow submarine, and then we have the cute uh, cat uh, mermaid, which isn't a Beatles thing, but it is. Bridget does love cats, and uh, when her theme uh, in her room when she was a baby was mermaid, so she really liked this. So there you go. So that's going to be this shirt. Um, there's going to be a bunch of other shirts too, and I will, you know, show some of the embroidery of those in and out, and uh, then at the end we will see all the shirts. So uh, hang in there with me, and I hope you enjoy the ride. Let's get started. Okay, so what I'm showing here first is that uh, before I did that embroidery there at the bottom, the tentacles and the uh, kitty mermaid, I first cut the sides of the shirt so that it would fit on the hoop. Later on, after I'm done with the design, I will then um, uh, sew the sides of the shirt back together. And what I'm doing now is I am cutting out the stabilizer that I use for knit materials. So it, it's a different stabilizer than I would use for a uh, fabric that doesn't stretch. Uh, this is for like t-shirt stretch, uh, knit materials stretch. So you need a special type of uh, stabilizer for that and that's what this is. Um, so I'm fitting it inside the hoop and making sure it's nice and tight. Um, when I'm done with the design, I try to save as much of the, um, of the stabilizer as I can so I don't have to keep using new stuff. Um, so what I'm doing right now, before I put the shirt on, I want to do a fixed stitch all the way around uh, the area where I'm going to have the embroidery. Um, so it's sewing a gigantic rectangle um, around uh, the area where the design will go. And when I pull this out, I will take it over to my workstation and um, figure out the, the center of it uh, with a fabric pen. And this fabric pen is something that disappears. Um, it's a kind of a disappearing ink or it washes away. So um, that's why it's called a fabric pen because you can mark fabric, but it doesn't stay there. And I do mark where the bottom is so I know exactly how it's going to go. So that's what I did when I put the first design on on the front of the shirt. And this is the design on the back of the shirt, which will also be some 
uh, some tentacles and right now that's the adhesive spray that goes on it so to keep the shirt sticking to it so now I'm very carefully trying to put the shirt exactly where I want the design to go so I'm and I can see the uh, purple ink uh, underneath so um, I can really mark where it's going and uh, later on on the other design I'll actually mark the shirt itself too um, because it'll this this one is easier to do because it's at the very bottom of the shirt so I can eyeball where it goes and just uh, use the um, the lines underneath to see exactly where it's at and now I'm also pinning it on there not in the area where the design will go it's on the very very edges of the hoop there pinning the shirt there so it stays and um, then I'm using a sulky fabric. Um, this is a fabric that goes on the top, or not fabric, I'm sorry, a stabilizer that goes on the top. Um, and this uh, just makes a flat surface for the needle so it's less likely to snag on the fabric when it goes across it. Um, and I can just lay that on top. And now I'm rolling up the rest of the shirt and pinning it down so that it doesn't get in the way of the uh, design while it's uh, embroidering. And now I'm putting it in the hoop or in the uh, machine in the uh, in the hooking it to the arm and making sure that's nice and flat and now I'm going to do another fixed stitch all around to keep the shirts there to so that the shirt doesn't move um, while it uh, embroiders because the shirt uh, because it's not um, it's it's not hooped inside the hoop it's what's called floating fabric um, when you don't uh, hoop the fabric itself, you just hoop the stabilizer and then you uh, put the, uh, the fabric on top and you do a fixed stitch around to keep it still. It kind of manually hoops it, that fixed stitch. But, um, you know, it's, a, it's better to do it if it's, um, if it's hooped in, but sometimes it's just not possible to hoop uh, an item in. So you have to float at certain occasions. And I almost always prefer to uh, float the fabric because it's just easier, you know. So um, I pulled it out just to snip off any ex excess uh, um, uh, threads and stuff. <laughs> so now it is embroidering and um, it's going to go really fast right now because I have this on going at like a, I don't know, like quadruple eight times speed even <laughs> so there we go so what this shirt is what I, what I did, kind of designed it to be um, it, uh, these are all separate designs that I've uh, put together in a program called Embird and um, these when it's all finished it's uh, it's several different designs together and they're all uh, underwater themed and octopus themed and there we go and it's a yellow submarine because if you remember Bridget loves the Beatles and um, so at this point right now I'm uh, uh, trying to salvage the um, the stabilizer underneath so I can reuse as much of it as possible trying to see what would work best um, and I do use one new s sheet of uh, stabilizer because it, I do try to use um, at least two layers of stabilizer every time because I've used one layer in the past and it just wasn't strong enough. So I do recommend doing, using at least two layers of stabilizer. Um, so I will pull out one more sheet to do the bottom layer so it's nice and flat underneath too and I do recommend that and then using my excess stabilizer so I don't have to cut a new one and I can reuse um, that as much as possible over top as the um, other layer. So anyway, I'm doing this as a, um, oh, and I will be ironing this because uh, it needs to be nice and flat. So before I fully put it in. Um, so the Beatles design um, is, uh, it's basically the octopus's garden is what I was doing. <laughs> So, uh, and that's what the words are going to be at the end. 
Um, so I got the octopus tentacles at the bottom on both sides, the front and back of the shirt. And then um, on the back of the shirt is the yellow submarine. And then on the front of the shirt was actually this, the design that Bridget picked out, which was the uh, mermaid kitten. And and right then, I, there was a jump there, but I uh, stitched the uh, the fixed stitch around the the design that's going to go on top. Um, and the top, th the design here, that's the words, um, it was several letters that I put together in Embered um, to say, uh, um, it's basically from the Octopus's Garden song, uh, which is, uh, uh, I'd like to be an, in an octopus, I'd like to be in an octopus's garden in the shade. And the actual lyrics are, I'd like to be under the sea in, in an octopus's garden in the shade. But it was a little too much wording for the shirt, so I cut out the under the sea part and I just put, I'd like to be in an octopu octopus's garden in the shade. <laughs> so now, uh, like I said, I'm trying to situate that correctly uh put the adhesive spray on there situate that correctly so make sure it's exactly where it needs to be um in times when i haven't done this when i haven't um uh mapped out exactly where it's going on the shirt and kind of eyeballed it uh not used to the fabric pen um it has been uh bad <laughs> it has been bad i've had crooked designs before so here's the finished product and uh bridget uh showing it off um, I like to be in an octopus's garden in the shade. I thought I had video of me um, embroidering the words, but I guess I didn't. <laughs> That's okay. Um, it's more the same. And this was the other shirt, uh, one of the other shirts that says believe in yourself with the Loch Ness Monster, uh, a unicorn, and like the abominable snowman or, you know, a yeti or something like that. <laughs> and there's Bridget showing it off. She is super cute. She sure is. <laughs> So here's another shirt that I did. This I love this design. This squirrel design is so pretty. And links to all these are in, down below. And the letters are actually th separate letters. And I was going to put more on that that said wild and free. But those letters were so thick that it just didn't work. So I just kept it as wild. And here's the Hello Kitty one. Um, I tried that Hello Kitty design again. And it worked this time. I... Instead of messing up the shirt, I put it on a, on a separate piece of fabric and then applicate that fabric uh, onto the shirt just in case that Hello Kitty uh, didn't work out again. But it did, so great. And I love this one. I got this one from Embroidery Library and it was so pretty. And I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to put that one on one of Bridget's shirts. And she loves it. So, all right, that was the last shirt. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later, creators. Bye.